Go. This is not your normal science fair, that's for sure. For nearly 30 years, the Science Olympiad Tournament has been attracting some of the nation's sharpest young minds. Every single one of them is a champion to be able to get here. We have the regionals, which is like your county, and then we have the whole state's tournament, and then this is the uh, like grand finale. <laughs> With many going on to promising careers. We have a, a lot of geoscientists, meteorologists, uh, robotic engineers. I wanted to be a nurse since I was like a little girl. A doctor or a dentist. Biology or neuroscience. Some kind of engineer. Design telescopes for deep space. The tournament, hosted by Wright State University in Dayton, Ohio, featured more than 40 events with teams from every state and one from Japan. Two, one, drop. More than 2,000 middle and high school students were put through a variety of skill challenges with events like the rotor egg drop, mouse trap vehicle, and Mission Possible. Raise a platform with a battery and 10 dominoes, trying not to get them to fall off. 14-year-old Claire Burst, Sacramento, California team, gave it their best. Our dominoes and things didn't raise as high as they have in practice, so we're not sure why that happened, but I think we're pretty satisfied with the performance. They're learning how to do these devices that are things that are going to be life skills that they'll be able to take with them when they go into college and into the, to the real world. Oh, it's so fun, but I mean, lots of stress as well. It's wonderful to make it fun, you know, it's so important to make it fun because it is fun, you know, it's the excitement of discovery, excitement of invention, um, and uh, these are our best kids, this is our future. A future where innovation is the biggest winner. I'm meteorologist Jen Carfagno, The Weather Channel.